What's up everybody, it's Zane here, and I'm gonna steal the limelight. I know that when you guys are watching this, we're probably all gonna be in the Middle East and Abu Dhabi, but that's not gonna stop me from talking about Don't You Call Me Up. I just am so, so, so happy with how the video turned out. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you've seen it. If you haven't, why are you watching this? <laughs> so with all that being said, here is the behind the scenes with your host saying of Don't You Call Me Up. Honey, honey, I never got a chance to tell you. So the whole idea for Don't You Call Me Up is almost like me finding this peace in doing all these tasks around this farm or this ranch. This whole song all the way up until the end when I pick it up and I actually talk to her is about me not only distracting myself but finding purpose in all these other things. And it's, you know, it's packaged in a really super fun way but we wanted to be really intentional about um, the shots that we had and the entire view gives it this feel that I'm alone during all this. So I, it's not something that I'm using other people to cope. It's all completely by myself, which was super important. And I'm so glad that Ambrose and Michael were so on board with uh, letting me have a say in the creative direction of it. They were, they were super receptive to our ideas and it was a really big collaboration. And I'm just so blessed. With, with how it came out. What's up everybody? Welcome to the absolute middle of nowhere, even compared to where I'm from. Right now we're on set and location. We drove out like two hours in the middle of the desert. There's the trailer on one part of the set. It's so cool. I can't wait for you guys to see the inside. Let me go. Yeah. It was so hot in that RV. I think we went through an entire roll of like paper towels, padding face and like neck and arms. It was super fun though, and it's actually, you can tell in the music video that I'm squatted, it's like plied the whole video, because if I stand up straight, my head hit the ceiling of the RV. So, but the RV shot was, was amazing. It was the first thing we shot for the day. Everything in the video we shot chronologically. Yo, okay, yo, okay, okay, this is so sick. This is so sick. Oh my gosh. No, this is gonna be ridiculous. Um, I took a second from freaking out to tell you guys. So, uh, we just filmed the first little bit of the first like quarter of my music video. It's so cool. It's so sick. I've only seen a little bit of it and I already know how cool it's gonna look. I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait. It's cool to see how the concept really came to life. I was talking about it, uh, cause we did film like a mock video and maybe have like a little bit of that. I never got a chance to tell you. Truth is I wish I never met you. Oh, ain't no time left for your stupid show. Your show. Hanging with your new friends cause you know I won't be there. Wishing you could see my face pretending I don't care. Sitting feeling like I should have said them things to you. To hear it's so damn hard, but it's true. And so the next thing that we had was the tractor scene. The tractor scene, that was Ambrose's idea to almost surf the tractor and have that, that cool shot. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a really old, dingy tractor that I almost fell off of a couple times, but it was so worth it. The fun that we had on set for that entire shoot really translated. I think that you can tell in the video that it's authentic, because I really was. I had so much fun throughout the whole thing. I got on this super dope flannel that Ambrose picked out for me. Found these jeans when we went out the other day as well. Like they're, they're really packed up, but like they're so tough because they're ranch jeans. Like they're meant to be, to work. I don't know where they're at. There's a, there's a tag somewhere that says that they're ranch jeans and that's like the, whatever, just take my word for it, okay? And then these killer boots that we got. I'm telling you, I've been looking for a good pair of boots anyways, but uh, this tops it off nice. So after I got done surfing the tractor, 
Um, the jump down, there's like a little cut to where you see me in two different outfits. It's so fun. Oh, it looks so cool. And the gas station beforehand, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it says Carter's Service on it. Originally, it just said Charlie's. And I had a whole lapse in judgment to where that when I saw the video, I thought, oh my gosh, it says Carter's on it. I, I had no clue. I didn't even realize. I look back through the pictures and it says Charlie's. And we, we just called Michael a bit ago to clear it up and I'm not insane, which is a plus and something that my family members probably won't believe. And the, the dance scene for that, it was funny. They were trying not to have me dance for too long in the sun because if I had a tan line throughout the, like throughout the whole video from where it was shot over seven hours. The whole dance is something that Ambrose came up with and we kind of molded it to be more Zane style. And it wasn't supposed to be something that was super choreo based. It's supposed to be just kind of like a fun groove. I have the cool little push-up scene. Like, I, there's, it's like such a, I feel like it's such a, a 90s thing, like the, like the following, like the push-ups. Not gonna lie, that was a little rough on my wrists. Uh, we shot that a bunch of times. <laughs> a bunch of times, but it was so worth it. It came out great. And there's so many shots that I think are, are really intentional that I'm, I'm so happy with. It's this carefree moment. I was finding solace like all by myself. The bath water was actually really cold. Uh, we had to empty it because of the buckets that we poured in were so rusty that we didn't want to sit me in a bath full of that. And when I actually sat down in it, um, <laughs> it's two different baths, uh, two different tubs full of water. I guess the water is completely different. So right now, we're kind of wrapping up the whole music video with me running back across all the locations that we shot at throughout the whole day. Kind of like in a weird way, like taking it all back for me to go answer, her, answer the phone for her. I had just seen a couple Wes Anderson films and a lot of their cinematography is this static wide shot. I had pitched that in the rehearsals and they were like, that's a great idea. And long story short, the idea ended up being so much cooler than we even thought it could be. I absolutely love how it turned out. And I sing that last chorus to her where it's like, where he says, I never got a chance to tell you those days of loving you were hell yeah. So happy with the way it came out. Let go of the phone the second time, I left it hanging. I didn't end the call. That was Michael's idea. That was really cool. It is officially a wrap on a Don't Call Me Up music video. We finished earlier than expected. Let's just give a round of applause for that, okay? I'm so happy with the way that it came out. And I'm so glad that the rest of the group got to see it. And I'm so glad that all the hard work that everybody put into it translated so well. Because I'm probably going to watch this a million times over by the end of the day. I'm so glad that you guys got to sit with me and learn a little bit about the meaning behind the music. I'm pretty sure you guys already know Lamar's song, Bop Bop, is coming up. It's so fun. I've heard this song a million times. I wish that I could have put it in my playlist by now. You guys definitely will after you hear it and see the music video. So with all that being said, I'm so grateful for everyone involved. I'm so grateful for the team that worked on it. I'm so grateful for everyone that was on set that day. I had, the video came out amazing. Be sure to tune in for Lamar's song when it comes out next week. And with that being said, see you guys soon. Never got a chance to tell you. Truth is I wish I knew.